。This very that. あーあー。見て。あの、アニが霧の中を指さした。So Annie says, look as he、um, and she points、um, into the mist. あの、風車よ。ほら、あそこ。She says, look, there's a fusha, which is like, I don't know what that means. A windmill. A windmill, okay. Fusha. Why is there a random ass windmill? Okay,、um, and your turn, Cookie. Mm hmm. Un. Un to da. Jack wa. Hon no naka no e o mi na kara ita. Um, so yeah, that's right. And then Jack,、um, that's what Jack said.、Um, and then、um, I think he was like looking at the, in, the inside of the book's image,、um, and he mentioned it. The thing he mentioned was,、mm, da. yeah. So it's just saying, oh, you're right, which is what he says while looking at the picture in the book. So he's not looking at whatever Annie is pointing at. Yeah. お兄ちゃんたら本の絵じゃなくて本物の本物を見たら which is like oh big brother I'm not talking rather than looking inside of the, the picture in the book why don't you actually look at the real thing at the castle so, yeah so, じゃあ時その時あ寒たかいあ声が響いた響いた、um, so that means At that time,、um, kantakai. So, like, what does this kant? Yeah, so a high pitched voice、um, came, like, got exclaimed or something. Oh, came out. hibiku means to echo. Yeah, so a loud voice echoed, or a high pitched voice echoed. Yeah. Yeah.、Uh, hi. no koi kashira. Ano koi a nara kikoi ta mitai kerido. Which is, what voice is that? I wonder.、Um, it, I can hear, it seems like I can hear it coming from that small、uh, hut. Yeah, small room or something. Yeah, small well, hut. It's, it's, yeah, that's it's, right. Koya is, is, a, is a, they use that same vocab word earlier for what the tree house is. So it's a small hut like building. Probably has,、uh, it's、right. like a one room house, basically. Yeah, one of those things with the straw. Roof on it, yeah, I guess. It <laughs> doesn't、um, need to have a straw I mean, roof. It, it's basically、uh, yeah. it's a it's a house that only has one room. Koya. Yep, got it. How do you think about it? Okay. Ani ga koe no kikoete kita koya no yo o yosu no yosu o ukagata. Ukagata. Okay, um, hmm. Yeah, so that's to ask, to inquire, etc. Um, so Annie asked about、um, the voice that she heard coming from the,、uh, the small hut. Basically, it's a little bit different as the thing she's asking for about is the situation that's happening to the hunt that she heard the voice from. So, oh, the... okay. Ob- object of the sentence is the situation, the yosu.、Mm. Um, taka? Or is it yukata? I'm going to check. Taka. Taka goya da yo. Jack wa hon kara meo agezuni ita. So Jack says, that's definitely a hawk house. Um, and however, he says that without looking away from the book. Uh,、mm. and your turn, Cookie. So that means the Hon has, sorry, the book has the following writing. Perfect. Yeah. Uchigawa to sotogawa no joheki no aida ni wa iroiro na tatemono ga atta. So, um, Within the wall, the, the, the walls of the outside and the interior, there is a whole bunch of different kinds of buildings. And、mm. your turn, Cookie. Um, Takakoya mo sono hitotsu de, uh, taka o kun, 
訓練して、他の鳥やこう小さな動物を取らせていた。Okay, so that was pretty long, but I think we can break this down. So, um, Taka, so that's like、um, the hawk house.、Mm, um, right. Also, and then it's like so no hitotsu, so on its own, so from the hawk house on its own. So, no hitotsu is referring to, so before it says there's iroiro na tatemono.、Mm -hmm. This means there's all sorts of tatemono. So, no hitotsu means out of those iroiro na tatemono, this is one of the kind of tatemonos. As、oh. the sono is referring to the iroiro na. So, it's just saying one out of the different buildings. Oh, so the Hawk House is one of the many buildings. Okay, yeah.、Right. Um, and, and then there's a de in front of it. So I think it's, it means from in this context. Yeah. Yeah, so from one of these very specific buildings, Haka or Kunen.、Uh, I'm not sure what Kunen、mm. is. Obviously, you don't watch too much anime. Kunen means to train. Kunen. Training. Yeah. Super well, popular I, anime world. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's popular. It's, um, it's just because, well, I haven't been making, well, I haven't really watched that much anime、so、in、far. the past, and、uh, <laughs> especially with Japanese subtitles. um But、mm. either way, that's fine. uh Then, uh, uh, Hoka no Tori ya Chi Sona. So, Hoka, that means other birds. Like, um, and small, yeah. I think Dobutsu is like a zoo or, oh, no, animal, animal. Right.、Um, so, small birds and other animals, um, or Torasete Ita. So, what, what does Torasete Ita mean? So, Torasete Ita means to capture in this context. So, Toru、mm -hmm. has multiple meanings. It's not the take, it is the one that's way. Down here for like to catch、um, animals, which I think is that one, but t h e r e might be the one after that. Yeah, it's this one right here. So, so aside from things like sudu or、um, uh, aku or ake, akeru,、um, th this is another thing that has a lot of different meanings depending on context. Okay.、Mm, toru, yes.、Uh, toru、mm. means like to take,、um, but In general, all the, all the meanings of it are very similar. So, some words like agedu will have a lot of meanings, but they're not very similar. Like, agedu can mean to lift up, to raise your voice, to enter a room, things like, like it, it had for the rain to stop raining. Sometimes they're very random. Toru isn't very random. It, like, you, it, it's most of the time, it's kind of almost metaphorical. Like, you could get the meaning behind Toru to take. To mean to catch something, to earn something, to get something, to, take, to steal something, to eat、mm -hmm. something.、Um, there's a couple of ones, I guess, to record, like to take down, like when you're taking notes. It's very similar to the English word to take, to deliver、yeah. something. So, in general, it's, it's not like, even though there's so many meanings for it, it's less so many meanings in the way as I would say, like, ageru, as example, like, Has more weird meanings, I would say, than Toru. Because with Toru,、yeah. you could kind of guess by contact. So, yeah, there's something to do with taking. So, this is an example of the Kunmen. So, they're training the hawks to take small animals and birds. birds. That would kind of、yeah. mean to capture them, right? You can kind of、mm -hmm. guess by that concept. Con、um, That's right. Context, which meaning is. Which for some, some words is a lot harder to do that. Or, like for me, I always find Tori. The to tori and toru really hard because it can sometimes it'll be like t o and I don't really know when one's read is one way. This is the street word that means like the street <laughs> or to go through. And even though it's like related, I'm always like, ah, it's 50 50. I have no idea which one it is. So just use a dictionary, <laughs> just Google it. That's what I hope. Yeah, Google it. <laughs> uh, okay. So after reading that, Jack, um, Jack wa noto ni kakikonda, which means he wrote inside of his book, which is taka、yeah. o katte ita, which this is the katte that we saw last time, which was what they did with the wani, which is not kao to buy katte, but、no. kao to, um, raise kat right there. Right here, this kao. 
put it. Yeah. So it's saying, oh, they keep hawks as pets. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it's your turn, Vicky. Naruto, uh, Boku Tachi wa Ima Uchi, yeah, So, okay, this one's a bit harder. So, Naruto means, okay, I get it. Um, Boku Tachi wa we. Uh, now, ima, um, uchi ga, so I think uchi means house or home, but I don't, no, 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 it's not the same uchi, yeah, so, um, so uh, uchi gawa, you're talking about this one right here, um, this is the interior gawa, so we saw this earlier, um, but this means the side of inside, just like right here, I have soto gawa, which is the outside, so mm -hmm. we got the uchi gawa and then the soto gawa. Okay, so Uchigawa, so the inside and the outside, um, no, Shoheki, Shoheki, um, Shoheki is a castle, if I remember correctly. Well, Jo um, is no, castle. Joheki, yeah. So, if Jo is castle. Uh, Joheki is... castle walls. Yes. This is how repetitive learning is working. Um, <laughs> no, Aida. No, Aida, and Aida means space or span. Mm. And in that space, Irurashi. Um, oh, that's a bit harder. I think we might have seen that somewhere. Oh, well, Rashi? Because you know Iru. Um, Boku tachi wa oh, so iru. It, yeah, that means we are here or yes. something like that. But you're correct. We did see Rashi not that long ago. It does tend to mess you up. Rashi is a um, vague word. That adds vagueness to a sentence. So, um, so Jack is like, hmm, I understand. It seems like we must be in the area of the the wall. The with I, I believe we're over here is what they're saying. So there's whenever yeah. there's like two sets of walls. Um, I I think that's so what they're it is. in between the walls and stuff. Yeah. That's I right. could be wrong though. It's like it's, it's they're they're either like here or they're over here. It's either I'm not sure which side of the wall they're on. I think it's this one because since they're specifically saying the wall of the inside and the outside, so I'm thinking that's why it's over here. But I don't actually know for sure. So yep. That that'll be left to mystery. Um Onichan Kikoiru Aniga Mimio Sumashita. So big brother, can you hear? And then Mimi, uh, sorry, then Annie tries to um hear. She strains her ears for listening. And your turn. Mm, okay. Um, Taekoyara, uh, Irappa no Otoyo. Okay, so I'll just start with the sentence. So Taeko, so I think that's a drum. Yep. Hi. Yeah. Tai Rappa. What drum? Trumpeteers? Hi. Really? Trumpet. Trumpet what? and drums. Why do, why do they call trumpets rapa or something? It probably comes from, I don't know, could be French. No, trumpet is not. It's uh, in French, say, um, trompet. Trompet, uh, I think that's right. Um, I don't know, could, no, be, auto, um, could be Spanish. I don't, I don't the know point Spanish. is, it's in um. The point is, is in it's katakana, in katakana. Um, so it's a loan word, but we know it's not a loan word from English. It's kind of so like tan, in... for example. Yeah, tan is also a loan word. It's not the English loan word, but it is. It does mean bread in some other language. Mm. That is yeah, not... I think um, I don't think the Japanese. Uh, I just read somewhere. This is just interesting for me to note. I read somewhere that the Japanese had the most amount of exposure in history to the Germans and the Dutch. Mm, um, so I think it either Dutch. comes from Dutch or German. So yeah, I've, one I of those two. Dutch. Yeah, that would make sense. Um, okay, and then, Oshiro kara kikoete kuru wa itemi masho. So that means uh, Oshiro, which is the castle. So from the castle, um, we can hear... Yeah, we can hear it, you know. Uh, 
and that's Annie speaking, I guess. Yeah. Um, because it ends with the what? Mm-hmm. So itte mi masho. Let's let's go. Yeah, and this is like good job catching that because she talks twice in a row, which they don't normally do. Normally, they take turns, you know, talking. Yeah, they do. That's right. Uh, but that was a really good job. Yep, that wah is there just to tell us that. Oh yeah, Annie's still talking. Okay, this right here is Jack going. Yeah, mo chotto honde shirabe shirabe naito, which is no. Just if I don't, I don't. If I don't look up even more inside this book, then. Dot, 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 dot. That's that same toll you saw earlier today. Mm-hmm. The, or bad things will happen toll. Mm-hmm. But they were nice here and give us the dot, dot, dots to make it more obvious. Yeah. Hon kara me o agenai Jack o mite ani wa itta. So while looking, so Annie looked at Jack, who will not raise his eyes away from the book. And she says the following. What does she say, Cookie? Uh, um, okay, what's that? Oh, you you got a snipping tool on. Oh yeah, I was I was I was gonna do the earlier sentence, so I was thinking about it, which was. I think it was on the previous page. No, I'm pretty sure it was on this page it was right here. <laughs> meeting controls yeah f- thanks zoom f- f- 50 percent chance i'll remember now <laughs> but we'll see we'll see we'll uh, see honno yomuno, uh, so reading the book or or something like that uh, um doko de date so doko de date, so doko i think means where from and then date um not sure i know dekiru means uh to be able to so do you know how doko demo means? Doko demo. So that means nowhere. Mm, close. Anywhere. Like it, it can't like do, doko demo night can be nowhere, but in this case it's it's anywhere. The this date is the same as this no this mo basically. So doko demo dekiru means you can do it anywhere. So the in this case mo can mean nowhere like nani mo night. Uh but since it's positive, it's anywhere. So if she's saying but you can anywhere, read the book anywhere. Hi. <laughs> you know, because it's the show. <laughs> and you can do the next line. Okay. Watashi wa ima kono oshiro de nani o yatte ru no ka mi ni kitai no. Um, okay, so that means um, I am now going to. Um, go from the castle, and then, and then it's like yatteru. I think so. Right think over here, do or something. The, right over here is an embedded question, and the embedded question is basically the kono kono oshiro de nani o yatteru ka is the it's embedded like, question. What do you think that means? I think it means like, what are you going to do at this castle? Close. There's no you happening here. Like the subject has been dropped. Um, in this case, the subject is they. We know this by context. Rather, so oh, she's yeah. not saying, "What are you doing in the castle?" Like, who is she talking to? Who is this you? So it's saying, "What are the so what they are doing in the castle?" The ma- hmm, Annie okay. is curious about that. So because of that, she's going to me ni ikitai. So she wants to go go and, and see it. What yeah. what is happening in that castle? right now but yeah, yeah that's that's complicated i'm sure it's the first time we've actually seen an embedded question surprisingly enough but sometimes we have that in english as well we do oh, an yeah. embedded question but we actually literally put the question mark at the end all the time mm-hmm. yeah well japanese has the vocal question mark that's that call. yeah that's right the the vocal question mark um in japanese you never will see a physical question mark in the middle of a sentence because these are this 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 just shows that a sentence has ended so that's mm-hmm. why it's a comma with the local question mark. Like, I don't think you ever will. I, I don't I don't remember ever seeing something like that. I um ma ma koreo mite goran, which is um um like mama is like kind of like calm down. Like Yeah, like hang on. Hang on. <laughs> um go look at this. Mite goran. Um Jack ga hon no e o yubi sashita. So Jack points at a picture in the book. And what did he point yep. at? Okay. Oki na heya de 
たくさんの人が、uh, 食事をしている。So that means it's,、um, it, it's a large, he pointed out a picture of a large room、um, with lots of people having a meal together. Perfect. Yeah.、Um, 部屋の入り口に立っている人たちがた太鼓を鳴らし、ラッパを吹いている。So,、um, at the entrance of the room, there was, there's a,、um, a, there's a group, there's a group of people that are standing and they are basically playing the drums. That's that. Yeah, that's、um, right. And they're blowing their trumpets. So, so, and blowing their trumpets. I don't know. I forgot that.、Yeah. So, the explanation is, that was written is this. And what is the explanation, Cookie? Ohiro ma de. Um, uh, okay, fun fanfare.、Uh, so it's like, um, in, at the beginning, it's like. Uh, a big wide room. We saw this in Magic Thief.、Um, and then from there,、uh, okonawareru.、Um, okay.、Mm. So this means like to occur, to be done, to, to be held. So the thing、okay. being held is a bansan kai, which is a like lots of food eating. The, 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 yeah. Not dinner, but、um, it's, it's the banquet, is the word. Gastronomy. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I remember seeing Okonao、uh, inside my 2K deck, but it's been a、mm. while since I last revisited it. Okay. And then、uh, Ban、uh, San Kai there. So that's、uh, people having a meal together. Specifically,、uh, it's、um, a banquet. Yeah, banquet. Okay. So that sounds like banquet,、yeah. banquet, but it's in Japanese. Because、okay. Kai is like assembly,、mm-hmm. and Ban San is like dinner. So assembly dinner is like a banquet. It's, it's specifically、yeah. a big thing. Yeah, and then it's like, uh, Ryori ga hakobare te kuru, um, okay, tabi ni, um, okay, so I know Ryori is, uh, cooking or something or, or like cuisine. And then after that, it's like, hakobare te kuru, so I'm not sure what that means. Hakobare te kuru, um, hakobare ru means to carry, and then kuru means toward something. To, like, the, 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 the... The cut. So they, they come in with the food, but specifically、mm-hmm. it's the tabi amount. This is like a time phrase. Tabi means every time. So every、yeah. time they come into the room with the food, and we're talking about the banquet room, then fanfare. 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 A flourish of trumpets. Yeah. And then it's like, nara sareta.、Um, so I remember last time we saw this、uh, chirp kanji,、um, but we learned that if it's in a verb, it probably doesn't just mean chirp. In this case, it would mean、um, like the sound of it or people playing the trumpets. Like,、mm. h- how do I say it? <laughs>、um, I don't know, to ring. Okay, I guess, but trumpets don't go ring ring. Ring ring.、Um, well, ring doesn't just mean ringing.、Uh, okay, so I guess case, to resound, you could say. Yeah, sounding sound. the trumpets and stuff.、Sound、yeah. The trumpets.、Um, so, narasu, which you're thinking about, which you keep on calling chirp, doesn't mean chirp, it means animal noise. Yeah, animal so, noise. <laughs> that exact same verb, like with no change, is also used with like a dog barking or something. Like、it's, it's wolf, just wolf. Wolf, wolf. It's, it is a generic animal noise.、Um, but the prime example is the bird chirping, since the kanji you know, has mouth bird. And but, a bird. Yeah.、Um, but it, 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 it's used for any kind of animal, kanarasu, if you're not wanting to specify that it's growling or howling or something like that.、Um, mm-hmm. Well, this version, which is not na, naru, right? The naru, narasu rather than na, naru. So. So, that right here is to resound, and the other version. So, this one right here is just used for objects. So, you're right.、Uh, I just can't remember what the animal version was. It's, it's gone.、Um, 
そんなに本が読みたいなら勝手に読んでて。If you really just want to go read that book, then read it on your own. 私は一人で見に行ってくるから。Because I'm just going to go all by myself to go see it. と、That's anyway. dangerous. そうそう<笑>アニがあシベリシビ、シビレを切らしていた。So Annie says that with all her patients gone. She, she's tired of waiting. She's <laughs> bye. And your turn, Cookie. Okay. Ato, mo suko shi da yo. Jack wa hon kara me o hana se zu ni ita. Oh no, hana sa zu ni ita. Okay. Okay, so. Atto means afterwards.、Um, we should. So it's like more, more sukoshi. I know sukoshi means a little bit. More probably、Hi. means already or again.、Yep. Um, so this atto mo sukoshi means just wait. A, we can go after basically. You, you, it's how、yeah. you can think about it. Just a, I need a little bit more time. Just wait a bit. So in a way, you can think、yeah, of atto、right. as saying, we'll do that after. We can run off in a bit. Just wait. Yeah, that's right. Um, and then that's what, and then it's like Jakuwa, and then he's like, Jack is like,、uh, um, from the book, and it's like, Me o hana sezu ni ita. So <laughs> this verb right here is hanasu, not like the talk. No, it isn't. It's not. I kind of predicted that. It's hanasu to release, hanasu, which is like this guy. Or potentially this guy, Hanasu. These both can mean、um, release. I would say it's this one because this one tends to show up for more personal, like you deciding to leave something. This is more like releasing like a bird. Or like releasing someone from captivity. Yeah, or magic. And, and yes. Kind of like, that's more that kind of releasing. And in general, this tends to be more、Detach. physically releasing yourself. Or to release yourself、yeah. from your girlfriend or something. Yeah, that's right. Hi. So,、um, Heisig、um, looks at the first one and the kanji as detach and the second one as a release or set free, which is interesting. Makes sense.、Um, but yeah, so, so, hana sazu ni, so release ni ita.、Um, so, zu. And then it said, So, zoo. If you see zoo at the end of the verb, like zoo ni, this, this is a version of negation. So, this is like not. But it, specifically, it's without doing. And this is used when we're talking about one specific instance, if that makes any sense. So, we're、mm -hmm. talking about something specifically happened. He did not look away from the book when he said this. So, there's、oh. a different thing to do if we're talking about more like a habitual thing, but this is more.、Uh, A, a specific occurrence we're talking about. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, he's very obsessed with his book. Mm hmm. Um, Jack Kurai no Shonen ga Rory o Hakonde iru. Konde iru. Karen? Um, well, Jack is the kind of boy that does something with Rory? Cat? With care? Why would he care about Rory? Jack could I know Shonen got Rory o Hakonde iru. Hmm. Maybe you might want to、uh, screenshot that too. <laughs> to process, to carry, to wheel, to go. I guess I'm assuming he just loves food. That's even though it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Why? Since when does Hakonbu, which is to carry, has magical other meanings? Okay. Um, no... ah. Okay. Um, Something wrong? No, my, my, my pen was acting weird. Buddha no Maruyaki Pai. Kujak no Hanega Zari ga Tuite noa. Kujak no Maruya Maruyaki Daroka. So he's basically talking. Talking about、um, the different food things. So, Buddha is pig, Maruyaki is something, I'm not really sure, but 
it's something you'd eat marayaki round so round cooked meat perhaps uh, like a pork shish kebab leg. pork leg you think could be um pie um, um we have some feathered kujak which is a peacock interesting who eats peacock um i mean it's probably doable yeah so uh <laughs> so basically he's picturing like um the food that ha that's decorated with like the leaves of a peacock like very very fancy wow. um yeah. maybe he's like curious how the food's being carried in you know so it's not just their he, he's become a boy oh jack could i shouldn't go oh 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 no i okay th what this is saying is that it was describing what he's seeing in the picture Oh, so the okay. thing you see in the picture is a boy that's a like that's very similar to Jack that looks like a, a eight I don't know how old he is eight year old boy eight year old. that is carrying food and the thing he's carrying is like a plate you know that looks like it has like you said the pork leg or something um and then it has like the the peacock feathers around it mm. um and next your turn cookie <laughs> eh kujaku uh, no, eh? Kujaku. Okay, interesting. Uh, yaku wa noto ni kakikonda. So it's like, uh, what, what is this kujaku? That's the I peacock. Just wanna, I just want to know. Uh, oh my actually, God. Actually, it's that is... <laughs> it's, it's, oh That's my... the male peacock, the not fancy peacock. Okay, yeah. The more I look at it, I get a, I'm getting a bit slightly confused because... There's a jaku, which is the jack, and then there's yeah. a kujaku, <laughs> which is the peacock. Okay, what have <laughs> you done? Very confusing. <laughs> what have you done? Have okay, you done? Um, and then Jack wrote in his, uh, a wrote a note or something. Yes. And then it's like, uh, kujaku o tabete ita. Um, so it's like, did they eat peacocks? Totally. Or something? Did they eat peacocks? Because we got some feathered... Feathered peacock food. Um, it's definitely possible. So, so. Um, okay. Let's see if we can read this fast enough before our time limit goes out. Um, Let's go. Uh, ani ni mo mise yo to hono motte furimuku. So Jack, he decides to go look back at um the specifically the show Annie. He wants to decide to show Annie what he saw in the book. However, when he turns, he turns with the book. So he's holding the book and he turns to where Annie is. Mm -hmm. And what does he say? Uh, mite goran, mite goran. Kono shidai ni wa kujaku mo. And then dot dot dot. So I think it says, um, look over there. I think it means. Is that right? Yeah, yeah so look but over it's there. a little bit closer. Mite um, goran tends to be more like what you're physically almost hold, looking like you wouldn't say Look Look at on, and then point something like up the mountain that sounds yeah. kind of weird okay so look at this and then what's in my hands and stuff mm -hmm. and then it's like um kono jidai ni wa so jidai and um, that means time clock or something what uh specifically yep. era time era time period so epoch or something so so uh ni wa so this time period also has peacocks. Ah, <laughs> Which is and he's not here. Gosh darn it! Ah. Um. Again. Um. And your turn, Cookie. Ah, uh, Kiri no naka ni me o korashita. Um, okay, so Kiri, never seen that kanji before, oh, but it looks like down it. on a cloud. Yes. Oh, it, it is mist. It looks like, yeah. Oh, <laughs> now I can see why. Okay, doubt on a cloud or. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, that's what it is. <laughs> okay, no, not me. Me o korashita. Um, so what does korashita mean? Uh, korashita uh, is to strain. So me o korashita strain. is to squint. To strain your eyes oh. is to squint them. So they squinted their eyes in the mist or something. Yes, so he's trying to see Annie, the show. Uh, hajimete taiko ya rappa no oto ga kikoite kite. For the first time, <laughs> he's able to actually hear the sound of the 
the trumpets and the drum. So he wasn't really listening to Annie before. <laughs> um, and your turn, Cookie. Hommono, a hommono, a taka koya, a hommono, a no fuchsia, a hommono, no ohori mo mieta. Okay, um, that's very interesting. So once again, we have um, taka, takakoya, takagoya. So that means the uh, bird room or something. Yeah, bird typically room. hawk. Yeah, the hawk room. My bad. And then it's homono no. Uh, Windmill. Fusha. I'm so suspicious of that. Why is yeah. there a random homono here? What kind of night? Homono no. Oh, hori. I think that means a living space or something. That's a good guess. A place where you live. But hori is actually comes from the word to dig, and it means a moat. Dig a moat. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. We we saw this earlier. Right. Um, no mieta. So they saw all of these. They were able to see all of these things. Right. And such, yeah. Yep. Um, ha hanebashi no ue ni wa hani da! Hanebashi o hashite what that they do so over by the drawbridge the well up the drawbridge it was annie oh and she's crossing it while running and <laughs> last line to you cookie let's go uh uh to omoto um hon uh, mono kugute suguni uh sugata sugata ga mi uh, enakunate shimata. Remember Kugute? Okay, so... We saw that last week. Yes, we did. I think it was to cross or to climb. Not really. Or to really. Like, go what underneath. Yes. Yeah, that's right. It's to go yes. underneath. Yeah, I remember now. Thanks for drawing it. Um, <laughs> so, they, so they cross the... So omoto, so that means I th they think or something? No, so to omoto directly would mean they think this and then this happens, but it's said so often oh. it it's almost like and then it's like a an immediate action. So right when Jack sees that Annie is crossing, this happens. So it's a super yeah. it's immediate, basically, immediately. Yeah. So right after he went he went under the gate and um immediately uh Sugata oh so okay, i so i would say we're still talking about annie here not jack yeah that's right so annie oh, I think, um, did this he wasn't able to yeah so annie crossed the bridge and he wasn't able to see annie anymore yeah and how did he okay. feel about that uh uh oh <laughs> yeah uh oh Smata. Annie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And now we are done with that. The chapter. Wow. In one hour, we did a chapter. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the second half. Yes, exactly. One hour we 